Hi, Eric Lenask here. We're at the Rio in Las Vegas for IT Expo, and uh, joining me this morning is Rick McFarland from VoiceBurnet. Rick, thanks for being on the Thank show. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you having me. So, uh, start off real quickly. How about an overview of uh, who VoiceBurnet is? VoiceBurnet is a software development company specifically for contact centers. Uh, so, we develop software such as uh, self-help systems, IVR, uh, inbound, screen pop applications, uh, our forte is uh, tying into third-party databases, in-house CRM systems, mm -hmm. et cetera. And uh, we're really moving everything more towards the WebRTC uh, uh, platform uh, because we believe that's going to be a really great future in terms of um, you know, deploying applications uh, more simply. So we've been in business about 18 years and uh, keeping up with the latest and greatest and uh, having fun doing it. So you, you mentioned WebRTC, uh, and certainly um, you know, that has been a hot topic for a little while now. and, and the, uh, the customer engagement contact center market right. really is, uh, is where many people believe, is, see it as having uh, the greatest immediate impact. How are you leveraging WebRTC? Well, WebRTC is very exciting for us because we're creating a framework around the technology. And of course, at its simplest core, it's uh, you know, voice, video, and data sockets over a web page. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, specifically, uh, Google Chrome is the one that's uh, done most of the work on the standard. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the others are following uh, suit. Uh, but it's, it's really exciting for us because we're creating a framework of our traditional technology around uh, the browser-based delivery uh, mechanism. Um, so that's going to make deployment and maintenance and training and, and all of those things just so much simpler uh, in terms of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Have you had any feedback from uh, your customer base uh, around what you've done with WebRTC? Yes, as a matter of fact, we have. Uh, when we first announced it and, and demonstrated it at uh, uh, Enterprise Connect uh, a few months ago, it was an awesome uh, application demonstration because it was showing how simple it is for the agent to change up their screen and do whatever they needed to do for the customer. At the end of the day, it's all about the customer experience. Uh, so what we've been able to do is take the WebRTC platform and make it so that it's very easy to deploy different types of customer experiences and agent interfaces all within a single browser screen. Tell me a little bit about um, Voice for Net's relationship with Telespeak, and, okay. and, and in particular, why, why, what, it, what it entails and why it's important for Voice well, for Net. Well, Telespeak is a, a hosted-based communications provider, so they'll do hosted PBX, hosted contact centers, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we've developed a partnership with them to develop their next generation of their platform using our WebRTC framework. Uh, so it was a perfect marriage between the two companies in terms of technology because we were able to prove what the WebRTC framework was capable of. And from their perspective, they're able to take advantage of the newer technology and refresh their product line. And, uh, and their feedback has been phenomenal from their customers as well. With regards to WebRTC, where do you see the biggest benefit uh, with regards to uh, you know, both contact center and, and other business applications? Uh, man, it's just easy, simplicity. I, I got to tell you, I feel like a kid again, you know, because uh, it, it, it's made it so simple to deploy and simple to change and simple to give customers what they want. You know, for so many years, we've spent so much time and effort, uh, you know, just trying to build custom interfaces with uh, old tools and old technologies. It takes forever. And, uh, and the business change faster than we can develop for it. Mm -hmm. Well, in the web world, that's a whole different platform. Now we can keep up as developers with the business requirements and the business changes. What WebRTC does is brings a telecom front to that. Because traditionally, it's just web development, which are, there's hundreds and hundreds of tools to make that fast. But when you put the voice, the video, and the data sockets behind it, now all of a sudden I can take something that's very, very simple to develop and make it look like what the customer really wants, but then have all the traditional and legacy telecom network and infrastructure tie right into it on the backside. So it, it's a lot of fun. Have there been any, um, what if any are the major uh, challenges or obstacles with WebRTC implementation? And kind of on the other side, uh, have you realized or, or noticed any uh, benefits or um, uh, positive experiences from WebRTC? Well, of course, the positive are outweighing the negative right now. And any, any tool that's, you know, any standard that, that's fairly new, and it's been around three or four years now, it's starting to get mainstream, and obviously there's entire shows about it now. Um, but there are some challenges. I mean, one of, one of the challenges is, you know, uh, Google uh, Chrome is, is the leading provider of it right now, and sometimes they like to make changes, and those changes can impact your development efforts. You know, you'll wake up one day and this particular widget that worked yesterday now doesn't work today. 
The good news is we're able to fix it within minutes instead of hours or days. So that's one of the benefits of it as well. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, anytime you get involved in a new technology, there's going to be some challenges. Um, luckily, we've already had a SIP-based platform and a gateway platform that's been solid for, mm -hmm. for years. And really what we did is we took the WebRTC framework and put it on top of that. So we really haven't had a lot of problems with the back end, uh, which is really where the rubber meets the road in terms of legacy integration and public switch network integration. Uh, we've only had some idiosyncrasies on the user experience, which uh, get fixed extremely fast. And that's what's exciting for me uh, when my guys are able to really respond to the business changes in, in real time. So, you know, you mentioned the user experience. Uh, obviously, that comes from some of the um, uh, implementations on your customer side. What are some of the things that your customers are doing with WebRTC? Oh, man, some of the stuff is really awesome. So, for example, you've got a, a customer user interface experience to where we call them widgets. And essentially what that means is you can have a single browser, and, but within that browser you have these different applications. Uh, so think of them like apps, you know, mm -hmm. biz, business apps. So I could have a screen pop app, I could have a dialer app, I could have an agent monitor app, I could have an application that ties into my CRM database on the back end, and all these are tied into the public switch network and to the PBX uh, systems. So when a call comes in, everything I need about that consumer is right there in front of me in different sections and I can move them around, I can change their colors, you know, all the things that we expect in the web development mm -hmm. side are now available to us in the contact center. So that empowers the agent to do what they need to do from a single view. Remember we used to call it single view of the customer. Well now they can really get that. And, uh, and it's a pleasant experience. The training curve is almost zero because it's web-based stuff that they already know how to use when they sit down. They don't have to learn navigation. All they have to do is focus on the data and the experience. Aside from that, and, and obviously there's uh, tremendous productivity mm -hmm. and customer satisfaction uh, uh, impact there, are there other things that contact centers can do to uh, uh, either reduce costs or increase productivity? Oh yeah, for example, um, we just got through doing a multimodal uh, panel. So what the WebRTC interface has allowed us to do is put all these different modes of communication, such as uh, live web chat, SMS two-way text messaging, social media integration, uh, telephone, you know, video, et cetera, all into a single interface. So that saves money because they're not having to go buy all these different pieces parts and then have 14 screens up on the thing and try to train all their agents how to do that. It's all within a single screen, even though there may be something different on the back end. So that's saving a huge amount of money and time, you know, for the contact centers. So that's something they can do now. Uh, are, is there anything uh, notable that um, contact centers uh, can be preparing for that they can look forward to uh, in the future? Yeah, mobile apps is, is becoming very huge. Uh, you know, I'm a big proponent of the whole Starbucks concept and experience, mm -hmm. and I can take my application, I can make purchases, get mm -hmm. ben benefits and bonuses, et cetera. It frustrates me that not every single retail, uh, uh, you know, vendor is doing that. It's like, why don't we have this app for everybody? Sure. You know, because I don't have to carry cash anymore, you know. Um, so in a contact center space, when I bring that around, is uh, mobile apps and the WebRTC interface and the agent user experience are now going to tie together. Because the purpose of a mobile app is self-service, of course, but there's always that situation where you might need to get to a human or somebody or to another piece of information. And that app can now be tied to the WebRTC framework so that there's not even a phone call required anymore. It's just and they're connected either via voice or video or data, and they can literally interact instantly without having to go contact us page and go to an 800 number and go through an IVR. None of that's necessary anymore. Looking so. forward to that. Yes. <laughs> Me too as well. Rick, as always, thanks for being on the program okay, with us. Thank you very much. Good to see you again.